I understand the clubhouse was supposed to be open a while ago, so I apologize for that. You know, I've talked to you through this postseason and, and the World Series, um, just about the closeness of that room. And um, really, that's what it was all about. I mean, just guys pouring their heart out and uh, being there for one another, loving each other. And because um, obviously, this is a very difficult moment for us. Um, you get to this point. You know, as I said to the guys, you know, this, this obviously it stings now, but this is this is going to sting forever. Um, and there were just a lot of heartfelt messages to each other, and so I apologize for that. Congratulate the Dodgers um, and Dave um, on on you know win, winning it all. Um, you know, they were they were the better team in this series, and um, but doesn't take away my pride of this group and and what we've we, what we've been through what they've gone through what they've battled through and the togetherness that they they have and that's what that delay was about we'll go to andy and first row on your right if you could please take us through your uh perception of the the plays in the fifth inning the judge ball covering first and volpe throwing to third please yeah i mean just you know, we didn't take care of the ball well enough in that inning, and and against a great team like that, they took advantage. Um, you know, it looked like, you know, just kind of that sinking liner that just Judgey missed. Um, you know, play the Volpe, the right move, obviously going to third, a little bit of a short hop over there at third, didn't complete the play, and then, you know, Mookie hits the squibber, uh, so so um, Riz couldn't really run through it. You know, he kind of had to stay there and make sure he secured the catch because of the spin on the ball. And I think just, you know, Garrett, just all that he went through in that inning, kind of spent and kind of almost working his way out of it, just didn't react quick enough to get over. Do you think Judge, I mean, was there lights? Was there anything that caught it? Or was it just not catching the ball? I I, 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 haven't, I haven't gone there with him yet. Okay. Thanks. Go to Brendan on your right, Aaron. With Garrett on that play, do you think he may have thought it was going foul by chance? Um, I don't know. I, I I think no. I think there's an element of just that could have a reactionary thing in the moment. Um, I think there's part of it as just being spent that inning and exuding so much energy to kind of almost work out of it, and then just the quick flinch of delay with a guy like Mookie running costs you. And, you know, maybe thinking where it was that typically that's a ball that you're going to be able to, first baseman's going to be able to take. But because of the spin, Riz had to make sure you kind of secure it. It's hard to run through that ball that's spinning like that. And uh, this is your, I believe, seventh year as a Yankees manager. You came this close to a World Series. Just what is this like for you personally uh, to, to get this close and come up short? Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm heartbroken. Um Yeah, I mean, it's doesn't take away my pride of of what that room means to me and what that group forged this year and what we've been through to get here. Um, but but I'm I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken. And I'm heartbroken for those guys that pour so much into this. You know, the ending is cruel. Um, you know, it always is. You know, I I haven't had that feeling of being celebrating and going home. Um, and, you know, like many of the guys in there, you know, I'm 51. You know, I poured my life into that. So, um, you know, you're, ch you're chasing that. And when you get that close, um, you know, it's it's heartbreaking. Go to Joel standing on your direct right, Aaron. Aaron, do you think some of these fundamental kind of things hovered over your team all year when it came to like executing like a 3-1 play in a big game like this? I don't know. I, I mean, a 3-1 play, I, I I think from a PFP standpoint, we're pretty good. Um, it's always magnified when uh, obviously in a moment it doesn't happen. So, um you know, I, I, I'd have to 
look for sure, but I would imagine from a pitching standpoint, we're pretty good um, at those kind of things. You know, those are tough plays to to be super consistent at, you know, especially when you have 12, 15, at times 20 different pitchers kind of rolling through with different skill sets, something we work hard at. Um, so, you know, it obviously we had a rough inning tonight. Go to the second row, uh, Peter. How would you just as a whole sum up Garrett's performance tonight? Awesome. Um, uh, you know, really, you know, brilliant. I thought he was. I thought he was. I thought he had great command. Um, I thought he was in complete command of his emotions, which translated. In, or, or just of his nerves and the calm he had out there, which showed up right away in his command of all his pitches. I mean, he was dotting it and, and featuring everything, you know, featured the change up a little bit tonight, um, but had a little bit of everything going. And I just thought he controlled the moment in the evening so very well. Obviously, you know, he got in a tough situation in that, in that, fifth inning and handled it so well I don't know how many he had to th how, how many pitches he had to throw to get out of it I know it was a lot um, and then to still be able to go back out there and give us another good inning in the sixth and be able to go out there for a few more batters there in the seventh um, I thought he was brilliant go to Barry on the end of the same row Aaron Aaron the Mookie play gets you to Freeman um, how difficult an out was he throughout this series yeah I mean you know, he, he hurt us big time, without question. Um, you know, kind of hobbled into this series, and, um, you know, he, he weren't sure what we are going to see. And from jump, obviously, he was Freddie Freeman at the plate. And, uh, you know, he, he, he hurt us. Far back on your right, Ed. Is your empathy for your players tonight greater because you went through this as a player? Um. I'm sure I'm a product of my experiences, so maybe, um, you know, that feeling of in 2003 of I can still see the Marlins and hear the Marlins celebrating on our field, and it was one of the most painful moments that I've experienced. Um, you know, 2019 in Houston w was super painful. Um, this with this group, and uh, I mean, it, I keep saying it, the closeness of this group, um, just you heartbroken for the room. Anything else for Aaron? We'll finish with Brendan on your right. Just two questions, Aaron. How would you reflect on having a year of Juan Soto? Um, just an absolute privilege. Um, as great a player and then just just talking to him right before I walked in here. Um, he was that good a person, too, with us. It was fun getting to know his family a little bit. Um, you know, I consider him family now. Um, he was just... He was just so easy to, to manage, you know. Um, not just somebody that I have a lot of admiration for and a lot of respect for and... Um, you know, I hope he's here forever, but, um, you know, I also know I'm excited for him and, and, and what the next few months are for him. But from my standpoint, I, I, I couldn't have asked for better. And uh, you have a team option on your deal. Uh, when do you start thinking about your own future? I, I know it know. just, this has just ended, but. Yeah, we'll see. I, I, I don't know. All right, Aaron, congrats on an AL winning, pennant winning season. Appreciate it.